Okay, uh, hello my friend. Hopefully that you are doing great. So in this lesson, I want to say you have to create uh, a test script, but actually we will not try to interact with any element on the screen. Instead, instead of uh, instead we will try to learn just launch the application on the phone successfully from our test script. Okay, because as you still remember, we have FPM desktop here, and then we learn this by using the FPM desktop. So now we will try to launch it from our test script before interacting with any element on the screen. Okay. So now after you create a new project from previous lesson, you can see a source folder here. So under the source folder, you right click here and then you create a new package. So in this case, I will name that package at the test bucket. Okay. So now let me try to create a new Java class file here and then we can name it as something, any name, but I will name it as something like lunch app, just something like that. Okay. So now uh, we are not going to use the test ng framework immediately. Instead of we will have something like, you know, try to learn about the API to interact with the element first. And then when you understand uh, how to interact with uh, most of the type on the screen, we will try to switch to the tech engine later. So now just try to create a main method from Java. You see here, this is the main method and then we will try to launch it. Okay. So just go back to the previous one here. So, so basically we need to set up something like related to the app package, related to the app main activity related to automation name, uh, UDID, and the platform name to launch the app file APM, right? So we will do the same thing here. So the first thing we need to do that we need to create a, a driver, okay? Try to connect to it. So in this case, it should be something like APM uh, driver, uh, equal APM driver, and I will use mobile, element here, I can name it as appium driver equal new. Okay, I just put it here first. And then what I do, I will do something like, uh, now I will create, try this is the driver instance. Okay, it's still new now. I will set the design uh, this side capability to send to Appium server because from the uh, the architecture select uh, Appium architecture you can see that we need to send some information and that information is mean design capability we need to tell uh, to connect to the Appium what is the target what is and uh, what is the target DY what is the automation test framework and so on, something like that. So we will have this side, uh, the side capability here equal new design capability, okay? So we can put something design capability that uh, set uh, capability here so we can put something like a key for you, something like platform name, and then we can put something like Android, something like that, right? But I don't want to use it because when you type something like that manually, you can make some mistakes. So what I want to do that I view you the mobile uh, capability type dot and then I will give platform name here. So if you open the platform name here, you can see it is a default string here. You see platform name. So you can avoid any mistakes when you type something like that. Okay, so set the platform name at Android. Try to duplicate it by hit the control, the, uh, control D or command D. Okay, so platform name and then should be automation name. In this case is UI Automator 2 try to duplicate and then the UDID in this case will be the device UDID. I copy it and I put it here. Okay. So after the uh, UID, uh, UDID, I need to set the app package. Okay. 
So I need to set the app package. So we don't have any app package from that. So we have app package here and the app package uh, you can copy from the command like uh, like before here. Or you just get from the IPM set session that you already have, okay? And we need to set the app activity. So I just go back here and I will grab this information, copy it, and then I put it here. So we have app package, we have app activity. Uh, let's see uh, what we are missing. I think that's enough. Okay, so this is the design capability. So the second one that we need to set up the Appium or uh, server URL to connect to. Okay, to connect to. So in this case, I will use URL from Java.net. You can see here URL from Java.net here. So I can name something like Appium uh, server equal new URL. And then I will put something like HTTP uh, column slash slash localhost. Uh, and then it should be on the box. For example, I want to connect to the box 4723 and then slash WD slash hub. Okay. So we need to add the try test here. So let me try to cut all of these things. Cut it. And then do a try here. And I put a catch here. Exception. This is the exception. So I put in the middle here. Uh, this is the main one, right? So we are missing one more here. Okay. Try to format it by control option L or uh, I think control shift F on the Windows machine. So now we have the URL here. So in the cache here, we just need to something like, we need to print out something like E dot print stock trace, something like that. Okay. So now I will try to send this capability to the uh, Appium server. Okay. Send this, uh, try to, try to have something like driver. No. Yeah. Appium driver equal new Appium driver. And then I will put the Appium server to connect and the design capability here. Okay. So after this step, we will try to connect to uh, no, this is wrong. Just print out here. Sorry. So after this step, we will try to assign a new Appium driver here, but actually we will not use it. Okay. We just try to launch it. So after that, that means we will try to connect to the Appium server via the port 2723. And then we send all of the design capability here for the Appium can open it. Okay. So now you can open the terminal, a new terminal, and then you will start the Appium server. So the Appium desktop already have Appium server itself. You can see here, but it started on the box 27, 47, uh, 47, 25. And I don't want to do that again. I want to do another Appium server here. So Appium hyphen B, and then I will start with the box 27, 20, uh, 47, 23. So even you don't specify the box here and you hit enter by default, the Appium server will start with the box 4723. Okay. So let me try to delete this one. Enter. And now you can see it start on the localhost 4723 here successfully. Okay. And then we are not going to do anything from Appium desktop to avoid conflicting. Okay, so that's why I try to customize the box on the Appium desktop at the time it starts, right? Now I want to run this one to see whether I can launch the application here. Okay, 
So let me try to minimize the home screen on my device first. And now what I want to do, I just hit the main here. You see the run button here and then try to learn, uh, run the launch app document. So if you go back to the terminal, if everything is okay, if you send the capability, decide capability here to the target at the own server, and then if you try to launch the device, so let's see, okay? So this is the console and this is the device screen. You see, it sends the desired capability to the FBM server here. And now it's try to launch FBM 16 and then try to launch the target bucket, the target uh, application, I mean. Okay, you can see it's running something here. It's trying to start the bootstrap here on the device. Here is the bootstrap work. It's happened very quick. And now finally it's launched the, 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 the target application successfully here you can see. And finally the test is done with the static test cost is 200 here. Everything is now okay, you see. So let me try to summarize, okay. So under the source folder here, you create a new package with the name test. You create a new Java file and here you have a main method, okay? So try to boot the try and cast block here because this URL uh, class will throw something. So we need to boot everything in the try cast block. So here we have appium driver and then we specify the type is mobile element and we name it as appium driver. This is the way we create a new driver instance. Now, it's very important for you to set the desired capability, uh, desired capabilities to send to the FBM server. So in this case, we will view mobile capabilities here and use some string from here to avoid any mistake, any typos, okay? So we need to set the platform name, automation name, just like before we did with the FBM backup, and we need to specify the device UDID, okay? We need to boot the app package here the app activity, and then we will create a new URL to connect to the FBM server slash W slash hub. And finally, we reassign the driver instance here with the new FBM server with the name, uh, with the information from to connect to the FBM server and with the design capability. And uh, you already observe that we have, you know, after that, when we run the test script, it will try to connect to the IBM server. IBM server will try to connect to our bootstrap client here by using the IBM system or something like that. You, you, you may sure it's from the very beginning time when it's learned, it's learned the IBM system. And then finally, it will try to launch the target application here successfully. Okay, so I think it's very much for this lesson. In the next lesson, I will share you about the locator strategies in Appium and how to interact with the first element from the application. We will try to click on the login button here to na navigate to the login form. Okay, so bye for now and see you in the next lesson.